Now, Basketball 101 with Jim Barnett. Welcome to Basketball 101 with me, Jim Barnett. Today, I'm going to talk about the most important offensive weapon that you can possess. And everyone has the ability and the opportunity to have this and to possess this. And that is what I call triple threat position. Now, today, I'm going to need a helper. So I'm going to bring in Kenneth. Kenneth has been on our staff of uh, Warriors basketball camps for about five years, Kenneth, so appreciate that. I know you understand triple threat position and how valuable that can be to save that dribble, right? Right. Okay. Uh, let's have you take the ball out, and I'm going to work without the ball, and I'm going to just how, teach you how to move without the ball to get into a position to receive the pass where you can take advantage of a one-on-one -on -one situation. First of all, if you don't move without the ball, you're not going to get the ball. So the easiest way for anybody away from the ball to get open is to start moving toward the basket. So if I were on the elbow out this way, and I wanted to get the ball from Kenneth and go one-on-one, -on -one, I would start down toward the basket, and then I'm going to talk about footwork a lot in all of these sessions. I'm going to come to a stop on this side of the court. It's going to be my right foot, and I'm going to come back out to catch the basketball. and then. I'm going to talk about triple threat position. So let's say I was down in the corner. All right, I'm coming to the top of the circle, and here we go. Now, I have the basketball. Let me tell you what the worst thing you can do when you catch a basketball, and that is to put it on the floor. So many kids do that. When you put the ball on the floor, now you've got to protect the ball with your body. So that means you're turning your back to the basket and where all the action is. If you take the ball, and the first thing you do after Kenneth made that pass to me, I came up and received it. I'm starting from the th three-point line. I'll show you why in a moment. But the first thing I'm going to do is establish a pivot foot. I'm right-handed. I like a left foot pivot foot because I can jab with my right, and that right foot is in position so I can go up and take a shot. You always want to receive the ball in what I call an A operating area. A means you can shoot the ball without having to take a dribble. It's pretty simple. Now, if I don't move well without the ball, and my defender forces me way out here, this is what I call a B or a C area. I'm going to have to put the ball on the floor because I'm not a threat to score from that area. But I am a threat to score from near the three-point line. I'm also a threat to put the ball on the floor with only one dribble and get all the way to the basket. Why do we call it triple threat? You establish your pivot foot from this position. You can pass the ball. You can dribble the ball to the basket, or you can simply go up and take a shot. But this ball possession, saving that dribble, what we call a live dribble, is your most important asset because you can keep your defender at bay. And a great example, just watch Steven Jackson. He loves the three-point line, particularly from the right side of the court. He'll come down. Someone will throw him the ball right here. All of a sudden, the defender comes out, and you'll see him do jab steps, jab steps, and the guy go, and then all of a sudden, he just goes up very fluidly into a nice three-point shot. You'll also see him put the ball on the floor when this man comes out and challenges because he has a dribble that he can use and utilize as an offensive weapon going to the basket because he can take that first dribble and make it work for him. So that's what it is. If you work on that, just establishing your pivot foot, surveying the situation, realizing there's plenty of time to evaluate the court and what you should be doing, you'll become a better basketball player. Thanks, Kenneth. Appreciate that. We'll see you, and we'll see more of you on Basketball 101 in the future.